Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Yannick. I'm the French guy from Switzerland. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a VPN on a DigitalOcean droplet. Let's go. So there are many reasons why you would want to install VPN. Um, I'm not going to go over those reasons because if you're watching this video, you already know the advantages of uh, using such a thing. I'm just going to show you how easy, how easy it is to install your own uh, VPN server on a digital ocean droplet. So first of all, we're going to uh, have a look at where my uh, IP address is located right now. So I'm going to use this command line that I will uh, put in the video description. And we are in Switzerland. That's great. That's what we, are, we were expecting. So let's go over to Firefox. Uh, we are uh, uh, on my DigitalOcean account. Uh, I have created a project called VPN. A project is uh, simply uh, like a folder in which you will put all your droplets. And let's create a droplet. Of course, we could uh, create uh, our server using those fine distributions, but uh, since I'm lazy, I'm going to use an easier solution. I'm going to go to the marketplace, select OpenVPN Access Server, uh, a basic basic plan, uh, the cheapest uh, possible droplet, uh, no storage. Uh, let's say we want to be in, in New York. We don't want any uh, VPC network. We don't want any IPv6 address. We want to authenticate using SSH keys, and since I I uh, only have one, it's already selected. And that's it, really. Let's give that a name. Uh, let's call that antares.frenchguy.ch. It doesn't really matter. So that's it. Uh, project uh, VPN. OK, let's create a droplet. So it should take about uh, a minute or two to create the machine, uh, the virtual machine. And then it will give us. Um, the IP address to which we have to connect. So let's uh, let's wait for the droplet to be created. I'm, oh, there it goes. I'm not going to speed up this video because it's really, really fast to create and I want to show you how easy it is and how fast it is. There we go. The droplet is uh, created and running. So I'm going to copy the IP address and go back to my cool retro terminal. I'm going to SSH uh, into this machine, so root at control V to pass paste the uh, IP address. Let's go. So I will trust uh, this uh, signature. All right. And as, as soon as I'm logged in, the configuration begins. So I have to say yes here to accept uh, the conditions, and then I can just hit enter on every questions. All the defaults are okay. Um, it's going to take a few seconds to create a user and set up everything on the uh, on the droplet. And there it is, starting over. There we go. So it gives us two addresses, two web addresses, the admin and the client. We don't need the admin for this uh, purpose. Uh, what we need to do is to set up a password for the default user, which is OpenVPN. So let's give that uh, user a password, a very secure password. There we go. And that's it. We are, don't need anything else on this droplet. Let's just copy this uh, address here and go back to Firefox. Uh, where is Firefox? It's there. And let's go there. Uh, it's a self-signed certificate, so it's okay for this use. If you want, you could generate your own uh, Let's Encrypt certificate, for example. And now we have to log in using the OpenVPN account we have just uh, set up. Well, it's been set up for us, but we've uh, given a password, so let's use that password and sign in and now we want to download our um, connection profile so let's click on this and uh, save this file okay now the file is saved let's go back to our uh, terminal 
uh, I'm going to switch to another screen that is already ready. So we've saved this profile. We're going to use this command. So we're going to use openvpn dash dash config client dot ovpn, which is the file we've just downloaded, uh, dash dash auth user pass, which means we're going to use a user and password. The user is openvpn, and the password is the one we've set up earlier. And now it's going to take a, a few seconds to initialize the connection. And that's it. Initialization sequence completed. So let's go to the other screen and check where we are now. And we are uh, from the United Kingdom, which is probably not true since we've selected uh, New York as our uh, as our um, uh, uh, hosting server. But hey, uh, it's probably a, a problem with um, with the service that I use to locate my IP. Uh, let's uh, try if. What, what what can we let's let's use another service and see if uh, if it's yeah see New York City New York so I probably should have checked that before I recorded this video but that's okay we are in New York so we now have a US IP address and that's really it um, you can now browse the web with a, a an IP address that comes from the United States for whatever you would want that. Um, and really, you're you're using a VPN, uh, um, a droplet that costs five bucks for, uh, per month. So, really, it's uh, it's nothing. You can use that for an hour or two hours. And when you're done, here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna gonna go to your terminal. Uh, make sure that uh, you hit Control C to stop the connection. And go back to your uh, DigitalOcean account, and then you go, you're gonna make sure that that's the uh, VPN droplet and not one of those droplets that you use every day for your websites, for example. Uh, and you're gonna you're going to go there and click destroy. It's gonna ask you, do you want to destroy this droplet? Yes, I want to destroy this droplet. I confirmed the destruction, and droplet has been destroyed, and that's it. I no longer have to pay for this VPN that I uh, I may be using, uh, you know, an hour or two hours a week or something like that. You don't have to have a permanent VPN. Of course, you could have a permanent uh, VPN on DigitalOcean and then connect all your devices to it. Although there might be a uh, limitation uh, as to the number the number of um, uh, concurrent connections on that server. I don't really know. I um, always use that for just one connection. But I'm going to make another video uh, later on about how to set up your own um, uh, WireGuard VPN on your own server so you don't have any limitation, but that's not for today. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Um, I will be back someday with that, uh, that, that video about uh, WireGuard. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.